you have to be present. You can't be in a place of receptivity or inspiration if you're stuck in the past or focused on the future. Neither one of those places allows you to be open to now. I wanted to create a workshop that helps people not just execute well, execute a skill well, but say something more intimate, personal, and expressive about who they are. I was super excited to create a workshop that had a much more, more holistic approach to education that wasn't only based on the technical aspects of art making, but the energetics of it too, which is how you feel when you're making it, and being able to work with both your intuition and your technique together holistically to create art that's more informed as well as expressive and says more about you and who you are. Everything can't be about technique, it also has to, has to be about the more intuitive um, and kind of right-brained creative approach. Strategy is really important and it's been a huge asset into uh, making work, but this whole other element which has to do with allowing inspiration to move through you, I think can actually be learned also. It's just typically not included in most, in most school curriculums. It's just how to see differently or how to execute. I feel like what I've noticed is people having the capacity to give themselves a lot more permission to experience whatever's coming up and, and work with it and try out new things and move through it more gently and with, with more joy than perhaps previously. I've painted a lot before, but then I struggle. Like I'm so focused on my head and what it's gonna look like that I get stressed in the middle. I knew I needed a little more of like a soul care, I guess. And it really felt like that's what I got. That really encourages me to try things that don't work, you can always paint right over it and that's okay versus before I'm like oh I just am making a mess I'm starting over on another painting so those layers might peek through or they might be completely gone but it was an experience more than a finished product the journey versus the destination and that that really helped me a lot you're gonna break it down so you can see patterns of light and shadow and come up with good contrasting tonal range all of that has to be done from a space of appreciation for what's already there. That's I, like the key to maintaining this open flow receptivity for things to come through so that you can have more of what you want. Right. Although a lot of this has to do with the more sort of emotional and energetic aspects and soul filled parts of, as, of art making. The technical aspects are included as well because I feel like that's a real support to both and that's the point of it being holistic is it's not simply a workshop to just say, well, paint however you feel. That, that sort of leads you directionless and so we can't go to either extreme where it's pure technique or pure intuition. There's a combination of both and that I think creates the greatest equality in, the, in art making in general and the greatest balance and kind of the clearest transmission of things. So both are important elements. They're just usually not both talked about with equal importance. So this workshop, I like to provide equal importance to both parts and a, and a more balanced, holistic approach. You might not like what's showing up initially, but if you continue to let go and stay present to the now, is all of it is about being in this very present moment, not remembering what the painting looked like last time or what it might look like later, you know, or how you want it to look.